on board for the channel Al's Geek Lab and I thought what better way to do it on the medium of video and on uh, YouTube itself. Um, so I've been working a lot in the in the background on my BBS for shits and giggles for things to do and of course um, uh, it, it's been live now for about three years three months maybe two months maybe early early june something like that and every week i've been kind of adding more and more to it and i've been having an awful lot of fun and um i think maybe in time uh, if if, um, if people want then i could show a few videos of how i've set it up now i'm pretty terrible at setting it up um the the right people um are actually watching this video right now who are really good at it like so meat lotion he's um he's excellent at um setting up um, things like this. So there's lots of experts out there. I'm an absolute novice, but somehow I've managed by a bit of Googling and a bit of asking some good people like Meat Lotion, thank you very much, um, how to get there. And I've managed to just just about make a BBS, which seems to pretty much work. Um, and I've been fairly uh, pleased with the results. Um, the, 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 the software itself is Mystic. Um, so Guru makes Mystic. Um, I won't show you the website for that or anything like that. You can download that in your own time. And of course, you can check out my uh, documentary series, Back to the BBS, for more information about the different BBS softwares out there. But uh, my, my software of choice is Mystic. Um, and there's a guy, Avon, as well, who's here in Dunedin. And uh, he, uh, Paul is his name, and he um, he's called Mystic Guy on YouTube. And he has his own channel full of guides as well, which you should definitely check out if you're interested in setting up um, Mystic. In fact, he's got a guide on setting up Mystic on the Raspberry Pi, um, as well as uh, some other things, so sort of setting up FidoNet networks, um, FTN such as FSX Net, which is actually run by him. Okay, now I'm just going to um, talk very briefly about the software that you can use um, for, uh, for, for the use of um, your BBS. So let me just minimize and maximize some windows here and uh, hopefully I can share my desktop. Um, I think I can, excellent. All right, so this application here is called uh, SyncTerm and this application here is called Netrunner and they're pretty much, they're very similar. Okay, um, SyncTerm is by the author of SynchroNet um, and Netrunner is by the author of Mystic. There is, a, there is a, there's a plethora of software out there that you can use uh, to connect to BBSs. But if you're going to use um, software to display ANSI graphics properly, which almost all BBSs use, then I would suggest to use, um, especially if you're on a modern PC, either Netrunner or SigTerm. No, uh, really, it's up to yourself which one you like the best. Um, there's not very much difference between the two of them. There are subtle differences, um, but both of them have um, are, are actively developed and um, you know are good fun. So I'd, uh, I'd implore you to try out both of them and and choose a favorite. Now, um, my favorite over time has migrated from SyncTerm to Netrunner. I started out on SyncTerm and I still think SyncTerm is great. I don't have any problems with it. Um, I think mainly the reason was about copying and pasting. I think that was like, it was like an inconvenience thing. So anyway, I've chosen uh, Netrunner for, for, for now anyway. So I've connected up to my BBS here. Um, actually, I think I'll, maybe I'll do that again. I'll just show you the connection process um, because it's probably um, better if you've never connected to a BBS before. Um, um, then then it's probably better to show you. So when you start up Netrunner, you get this screen here. And when you start up SyncTerm, um, you get the, you get straight into the directory, which is probably a plus one for SyncTerm. Um, Meat Lotion saying use SyncTerm, not Netrunner, because SyncTerm has way more font compatibility. So, um, so there you go. Again. Thank you very much for the donation, Lotion. You are um, you are super. 
on the super chat. Goodness me. Um, Mail Ocean's donation amount as well as um, is always fantastic. I love that. Um, it's the perfect. It's just the perfect. It's not one penny more, not one penny less. It's the it's the appropriate figure of donation. I think definitely. So anyway, there you can see the directory that comes up, and I've filled it up with BBSs, and I think some of them were pre pre filled when I got it. Um, but anyway, there there's the directory like a phone book. And when you start up Netrunner, all you get is this kind of um, scary black screen with the, the Netrunner logo on it. If you press Alt and D, it gets you the directory, which you can see here. Um, and um, then the, the, and then it's a bit more helpful down at the bottom. You can see the, the help there. Um, Alt, I to import B. And you can import um, sync term um, phone book entries in here as well. So um, to, to insert a new one, you press the insert key. Um, and to edit an entry, you press Alt and E. So I'm just going to um, press Alt and E on this here, which is the entry that you would make for um, uh, any particular BBS. So this is my my own BBS, Al's Geek Lab, obviously. It's the complementary BBS to the um, to the the channel, um, and you can see here the the just I just put the system name the the host name and of course the port number because I'm not using port 23 port 23 is the default so usually you could get away with just something like that but because I run my BBS on port 2323 you have to put in 2323 like that afterwards as well subtle subtle difference for sync term if you are in there um, let me just um, let me just find I don't know if I've got it in here Yes, there you go. So you, you put it in, you don't put it in like that here. You just put it in this field here, 2323. So it's, again, slight difference. Okay. Um, so then this is a Telnet one. You can actually choose um, various. You can use SSH. I have um, port 2222, 2222, 2222 uh, for SSH. Um, but I'm going to show you the, the Telnet version for now. Um, obviously my handle is hijinks. You don't need to fill in any of that. That's fine. Okay. So I will now hit return and, um, connect to that. I should have put that back to telnet. That's why it's saying that. Okay. And the first thing it says is, are you a bot? And obviously the answer there is no. Um, Anst is in the house. Here's Daniel Kelly. Um, and you can see this thing here, there's a map and it tells me where I'm connected from. Um, good old here in New Zealand. Great to see you, Anachronist. Thank you very much for coming along to the live stream. Must be pretty late where you are right now in the world, but um, you're a sysop, I know. So, um, you know, sysops are uh, night dwellers anyway. So what the hey? Um, so the first thing, obviously, enter your username and your password. Now, if you don't have a username or a password on the system, any BBS pretty much, then it will just ask you if you're a new user and if you want to create an account. I'm not going to go through that. Maybe I will, maybe I uh, maybe I won't, I don't know. Maybe, should I do that? Should I go through the new user process? What do you think? Do you think we should go through the new user process, everyone? What's the, what's the, um, the consensus? Should we do that? Should we do a new user? Let's let's do it. Let's do it. So um, if it's quick, it's real quick. Joe user is um, my desired username. If it's quick, yes. Do I want to create an account with this BBS? That's just a little blurb there. I do, yes, thank you. And I've chosen Joe user as my handle. Enter my real name, Joe user. My city is Wellington, New Zealand. And my email address, um, real email. Now you should actually use a real email address. Um, and the reason for that is that if you do forget your password, you can get a password reset email, uh, but for no other reason, I don't spam you. And most sysops that I know, I've, I've never received an email spam from a sysop on a BBS. They're, they're not fond of spam. 
So um, there you go. How did I hear about this BBS? Well, I freaking made it. Password. Don't use the word password, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Enter and create the account. Now you must tell send an email to the system operator. Um, I don't require you to send an email to me, um, although it is always nice when I get an email from a new user to say that they've just logged in for the first time and they've checked it out and they think it's good. This piece of art here, um, this is ANSI art for those of you who have never seen ANSI art and haven't watched Back to the BBS, the documentary series. Um, this piece of art was done by Meat Lotion, who is watching right now. Um, so thank you very much for that, Meat Lotion. It's superb. And I've completely stolen it from his um, his BBS, the Quantum Wormhole. So um, that's a top choice um, BBS. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, please do check that out. His um, little link, uh, he's got a shortened link, erb.pw slash btdb there, which will take you to the Back to the BBS uh, series as well as a shortened link. So that's that's pretty cool. So yeah, so this is the official home of Back to the BBS. Here's some one-liners, um, and you can, you can add a, a little message to your other fellow BBS users who are on this um, this particular BBS. This is quite a common thing for when you log into BBSs, you get to see this quite a lot, um, sort of one-liners. And I'm about to put in place a um, inter-BBS one-liner system as well, so um, that you can uh, share messages across a number of BBSs that are using the same mod, as it's called. Um, so, um, yep, Anachronists here in the chat on YouTube. Um, and I should shout him out here by saying that you should definitely go along and check his awesome BBS as well, Absinthe BBS, and you can see the address on the um, on this uh, one-liner. Greets from absinthebbs.net on port 1940. So definitely check out Absinthe BBS. It is actually the reason why I got back into BBSs. That was the BBS that started it all again for me. So that's that's a big it's a big thing. That's that was a really big deal for me that VBS. Um, so yeah, I love I love it, and there's so much work that um, that's been put into that VBS. So yeah, definitely check it out. Um, I won't add to the the one liners. The first thing you get when you log into the system is a check um, to see if there's new mail. Daniel, definitely port the inter-BBS mod to the Amiga, definitely. Uh, I should say that um, Daniel Anachronist's uh, BBS there is an Amiga. It runs Ami, um, Amiga CNET uh, BBS software. So it's actually running on real Amiga hardware, which is absolutely crazy as well. It's great. Um, so anyway, um, back to this. The first thing that the BBS does is check for personal mail or electronic mail. And um, is an automated mail from me saying welcome along to the BBS and there's just a little bit blurb there on why I made the BBS um, check out the, the stuff that's on it and so forth and then it does a little this is brand new as of today it checks all of the other message bases um, on the um, on the BBS um, thanks very much to Stackfault for the little tip there the little hat tip on how to make that happen and also this bit here which scans for for new files on the BBS the next bit there shows uh, just an update of what's going on, which, which what's new on the BBS, um, and I'll show you through the, some of these new features anyway. But um, this 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 uh, little thing that you know check back every time you come in, you hopefully see something fairly new that you can get interested in on the BBS. So the last thing is um, a mod that I made called Coin Info. Um, which is under heavy development right now. It's um, certainly not ready for prime time, but um, I'll give you a little sneak peek, peek even. Um, and there's last caller. So these are this is a list of the people who have logged into the system. And you can see um, today is the 25th, and we've had um, Courtney Blush, uh, myself, and of course, Joe User logging in today. But... Um, more recently, we've had um, Crewmate, OzU, Mark I, Skull, Warm Fuzzy, Polly420. Hi, Polly. Um, all logging in as well. 
there's a little message is saying join the meetup which is every friday night at 10 at 8 p.m um utc uh, so definitely join us on that that's on the the mrc chat and this is the main menu um so from the main menu you can get everywhere else on the bbs and the whole idea is i've tried to make it really as simple as possible for everybody to get around uh the bbs so you just hit the corresponding key for each menu item so you can see m for messaging c for chat and so forth so whilst it made mention of mrc chat i'll just show you what mrc looks like this is mrc right here and Anachronist, oh nice, this should have the slash X guys in it. <laughs> there we go. So this is an exclusive um, chat uh, forum, I guess, for the people on BBSs. Um, it's... Um, it's really cool. It's like IRC. The command line is um, very similar and it's also very simple. Um, and there's always a lot of good people in it. There's the, there's the help there. Um, so just, just have a look through that at your own time. But you can see that it's multiple rooms as well. If you want to have a separate room for different subjects, you can do that. Um, you can check who's on and um, join the different rooms. So if we go in here, who on? It shows you the different people who are on the. <laughs> hey, Zylone, how's it going? There we go. So we've got all these people in the chat. All right, so I'm going to quit out of that before I get carried away because I always go into MRC and I get completely carried away. Um, totally love my time in MRC. It is just wonderful. Great, great invention. And again, a massive shout out to Stackfault, who I think um, was the brainchild behind most of MRC. That false BBS, by the way, is called the bottomless abyss. Um, next, I will show you um, the help, which is the simplest thing because really there's not, a, not an awful lot in there. But if you are stuck, um, it just tells you basically you press the, the corresponding items and you can press S to contact me and page me um, for a chat. Um, I will develop this a little bit more, but that's the, the help and that's out of the way. Um, the other features of it, so most BBSs you'll find have messaging and file menus. So I'll come to them in a bit because that's pretty pretty common. Um, Griffin created the MRC. I, I thought I thought that there was it wasn't completely done by him. I know Meat Lotion, you've done some work on it as well, so I knew that it wasn't just a a mod created by um, Stackfault, but I believe that Stackfault's done quite a lot of work on it. Um, but you guys know better than I. Uh, so I'll just show you some of the more um, esoteric features of my BBS. Um, here, for example, if we press R, you can read RSS news, um, which is, again, it's this mod is by XQTR, um, really cool mod, and it works really well, and I, I really love it. Um, so I've, I've said at the bottom, let me know if you want other feeds in here, but basically you can add any RSS um mod uh, any rss feed from any um, rss website um in here so for example obviously retro computing forum is a website and you can see there um the the information posted on the retro computing forum website you can page down and go through that and go back again in the retro news that one's taking a while don't fail me now this is demo gods please don't yeah, it came up there. Um, and of course, even my own website, Al's Geek Lab website, um, you can get the um, the RSS feed from there. You can see part four of the documentary series is, is in there from way back in June. Um, look at that, Daniel Kelly's name right there. <laughs> You're everywhere. So I'll come out of that. That's, that's the RSS reader, option R. Um, BBS News uh, is just a quick um, sort of bulletin. I don't use this very much, but it just uh, gives you an introduction to the BBS, this one here. And, and number two shows you um, what's the list of the BBS the bulletins was back to the BBS documentary as well, which is a um, just an intro introduction to the, the documentary series on 
YouTube. So yeah, if you if you don't know about that, then you can read that and it'll tell you all about it. But that that's all the bulletins are all about. Um, the weather mod is quite cool because you can get the um, the weather off anywhere in the world just by typing in the name of the city. I wish it was sunny all the time, like this ANSI from another droid XQTR's board uh, shows, Wellington. So again, this wasn't made by me, but um, I, I think it's a great addition to any BBS. So there you go. Um, it is not going to rain. Hallelujah. So I, I think these are, I think the augmentation of APIs and other information from other places, putting it in together with this retro format, I think is just so cool. I just love the fact that this is absolutely up to the minute API based information. It's completely relevant. And here it is on, you know, a BBS, which is, well, I don't know, 1980s technology. I just think that's so cool. So I thought that I would um, dabble a little bit with that recently. So if we go into the, the G for more stuff menu here, just go in here and um, you can see there's a number of things, but um, this option here is just being put in and that's a mod that I've made. Um, so I'll show you that one. If you press the dollar symbol, it shows you the top 10 cryptocurrencies as of 3 p.m. So there's going to be an update. Um, this is going to auto update um, in about 30 minutes time. Um, so updates a few times a day. But um, I'm working on uh, a, a totally live trend information, trend analysis and everything. But you can see that I've got some money in ADA right now and ADA is doing pretty good. And I've also got some Bitcoin. So this is all using the CoinGecko um api and all so all of this information is completely again totally relevant it, it is real information it's live and it's coming straight to the bbs so here's a little um little sneak peek as to what um the mod is going to do in the future um so i i'm going to go look at ada i'll choose that and there you can see that as of I don't know why it's in this red font. Um, as I say, it's under heavy development. As of the 25th at 1928, which is exactly now. It's, so that's a live API direct request. Um, you can see that um, Cardano will get you $2.77. And I can I can bring up any, any currency in there in the top 10 currencies. Um, Bitcoin is going to get me 48000 478 US dollars. So yeah, if you've got any Bitcoins just kind of kicking around the back of um, your sofa or something like that, you know, you know share the love, you know. <laughs> but it's great. It's um, it's it's a it's fantastic to see that we can actually augment these these technologies. Um, so so yeah, so I'm really having a lot of fun writing some code for that. I'm going to share this mod with everybody. It's actually written in Bash. It's not written in MPS, the Mystic Programming Language. Um, so that's probably a good thing and a bad thing. It's good for, because it's portable to any Linux, Unix-based system, but it's also bad because it's not really fully integrated with Mystic. Um, so there's pros and cons to that. Um, but I'd love to hear more. I'm going to get it to, to do a graph um, that will look like this, but obviously kind of candlesticks for the for for the um, the currencies. So that's that's the next thing that's in progress right now. So uh, and I'd love some help with some ANSI on that one. So there is just give you an idea of some of the things it does um, at the moment. It does many more things, but. Um, it's it's coming. Um, just watch every every few days it gets an update that mod. So yeah, um, the few other things you can see here: um, inter BBS callers. Um, you can see all of the different users that have been logging into different BBSs using this XQTRs mod again. So this shows you different people across all the different sort of BBSs that are all using this mod. That's quite cool. I I do like that. But it, this, this mod actually goes one step further and it has various different screens. So you, by the number of callers and using this mod, you can find out which are the top BBSs according to this list. So if I press T, you can see that, surprise, surprise, the quantum wormhole is at the number one 
per, per um, position. So um, 4,158 calls to the quantum wormhole. And just by hitting return right now, actually I could telnet into the quantum wormhole or any of these BBSs in this list. So I think that's that's really fantastic. And the only sad thing is that Al's Geek Lab didn't make it into the, t the top 10, but there you go. Thank you very much again for your donation, Meat Lotion. Stop it. <laughs> so there you go. That I think that is really, um, really uh, cool. That's a really nice um, little, uh, little, little uh, mod. That one as well. Um, Bod is a game made by Richard Orr, and I interviewed Richard in an earlier episode of Back to the BBS. And uh, he made this game, and um, it's really it's a really cool game. I'm not going to go into it right now, but you can play that, and that makes a remote connection again from uh, my BBS onto his BBS, so you can play the game. I want to add lots more um, of the of the of the games. I wanted to get the uh, inter inter BBS league, but I'm having trouble getting in contact with the right people to get that in there so I, I didn't want to keep downloading all the the doors and the games when i when there's the inter bbs league and i thought i could just uh connect my board up to that and you know everybody can all be part of the same league um but i've not had any luck in getting in touch with the people who run the league to actually uh, make that happen so that's why i don't have any games really on on my bbs it, it's not a a big games bbs but this is where they'll all go um in time uh, so keep watching out for that there will be games on there but not not that many right now i think you're you're, you're limited to to blackjack um yeah blackjack's pretty much all you got which is kind of stock stuff um and polly has been playing blackjack on the system quite a bit so yeah you can there's a few other sort of standard mystic things in there as well i won't go into them um, I'll just show you the files area because um, there's now quite a few files starting to creep into the um, the files menu. So this is the files and you can see that I've started putting um, retro games and content in here. Um, I uploaded a whole bunch of stuff um, from the Atari 800 series of computers um, that's on there just the other day. So it's like yeah, 5,000 files in there. Um, there's lots of DOS games and in particular if you go in you'll see that um, whilst there is a whole bunch I've sort of put the years that they're coming from but I've also put in a pack so I've sort of said Al's top top games of 85 and 87 here so you can get like a whole bunch of them um, all in one pack rather than downloading individual games and these are the ones that I've reviewed personally and and given uh given a thumbs up to so they were like the best games of the year um in in the 1980s and sort of um there's there's lemmings as well so there's not a whole lot in here at the moment but you know there's a bit there's a few mods and xms and so forth as well in here um i've put a lot of stuff in the um dos utilities and networking and apps as well because i i use DOS apps quite a lot so these ones are all tested they all work everything I, I want to make sure there's a lot of quality stuff in there um, there's Game Boy Advance Nintendo 64 uh, all that good stuff and then um, BBS mods and doors and then there's the quantum wormhole FSX net files and so forth um, oh yes I'm also on Arachnet now as well which is great um, so I, I just moved on. Uh, so if I go to messaging, you can see that I'm now a member of the Quantum Wormhole Net. That was from the beginning. That was uh, so it's a great, um, great network. That some really great chat and also FSX Net. Those two sort of most, um, uh, I guess, chatty. And then there's Arachnet as well, which is a bit more sort of underground. There's some great stuff on there as well. And then RetroNet, which is all about retro computing of different flavors. And so you can go in and check out any of these and um, have a look. Here's, um, here's a thing about MTCP that I wrote earlier on. And if I wanted to reply to you know that particular message, all I have to do is um, hit, um, I think it's um, R whilst I'm in here. Yep. And then 
I'm into the text editor. And if I press Q, I can quote the message and say, hey, or something like that, right? I won't send it, but uh, you get the idea there that that's how you send a message on a BBS. And and that, so that's the, the, I've got all of the main um, messages, I guess, all the main sort of functionality that you'd want out of the message area in here. But if you want more advanced options, you can go into the sort of uh, custom or the stock mystic uh, stuff. And I think the same is also the case with the files menu as well. Yeah, there you go. So if you really want to get, if you're a pro mystic user, you can still get to the, the mystic menus. I've also got the world time in here. So if I type in Los Angeles, Yep, I can get the time in Los Angeles, and so it's uh, it's coming up twenty to one in the morning right now in Los Angeles. So there's another a nice little mod. Um, I feel like I've got a few more mods in here, but um, I can't for the life of me remember uh, where where they are. I think most of them I've shown you most most of the mods right now. So that anyway, that gives you just a a, a quick overview of Al's Geek Lab BBS. I'm always keen to hear feedback, um, and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd, uh, I'd give you a rundown and 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 let you see and let you know how to connect to a typical BBS because I guess this is this is a fairly typical BBS. So yeah, um, I think that's probably a wrap. I just um, I just thought I'd go off and and do that. Um, if if you guys have any questions, let me know. But I'll probably make a proper recording of this um, in the future, and um, and and put it up as something a bit more professional. But for now, I I thought I'd just live stream it and wing it and see if the demo gods worked, and they almost did. So so there you go. All right. Well, unless there's anything else, thanks very much for watching the stream. Um, thanks. It's been really good having you guys uh, along with. And um, I'll see you all very soon. Um, don't forget the um, Back to the BBS documentary. Episode 5 is out on Friday. Um, that's at, um, I think it's 2 p.m. Pacific time, uh, which is um, 10 p.m. British time, British summer time. And uh, yeah, there's it's uh, yeah I can't work out all the different time zones off the top of my head, but there you go. It's uh, it's at nine a.m. my time in the morning on Saturday the twenty uh, on Saturday. So yeah, really soon now Friday. Make sure you watch. Um, uh, come along for the the premiere. It'll be a lot of fun. I really love that, and we'll be an MRC chat as well at the same time, um, so that we can all jam out. So that that's gonna be it's gonna be great. Um, I always love those sort of live live chats. I think uh, it just it just makes it so much more. It's like popcorn moment, you know. Everybody's kind of sitting around, and we're all chatting together and kind of uh, having this bit of a jamboree. So yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. Thanks for uh, thanks for checking it out, Shane and Kevin. Um, really appreciate it, and um, yeah, can't wait to have you along. All right, cheers, everyone.